In this video, I'd like to go through a decision tree example and using the precision tree um, program out of the Palisade Decision Suite. This is a, a typical one a lot of people like to use on oil drilling. The numbers may differ, but a lot of different um, decision tree examples use oil drilling. What's going to happen here is uh, we have a decision to make right away about some land that we own, I'll say. Um, I can sell the rights for it for $200 million. I could drill immediately for $100 million in cost. And we're thinking that there's a 50-50 chance of finding oil if we do so. If there is oil, the payoff should be $900 million. Otherwise, we're going to take some readings that will cost us $30 million to get done. But if there's a two -third, we think there's a two-thirds chance of finding a certain substructure that indicates oil. If it's found, we could sell the rights for $400 million, or we could drill. If you drill another $100 million in cost, you think there's a 60% chance of finding oil, and the expected payoff is $12 billion. If no subsurface is found, you can sell the rights for $100 million. If you drill at a cost of $100 million, you estimate the chance of finding oil to be 0.3. The expected payoff, if oil is found, is $800 million. We're going to turn this into a decision tree using precision tree. So I'm going to click over to Excel. First we have to load in the program under Palisade Decision Tools called Precision Tree. As with all these programs, there are a wealth of things that you could learn by trying out the tutorials or the guided tour, and I really encourage that you do so. I'm going to quit close for now. So let's start our tree. I'll click on the icon for decision tree. Click in the spot on the cell and the spreadsheet. New tree, I'll just call this uh, oil drilling. Uh, notice there are many things we can choose up here. I'll leave them all for now alone. Notice uh, a good friend called at risk to do Monte Carlo simulation. I'm just going to click on OK. This is called a node. Our very first node is the decision whether we should sell, drill, or take readings. I'm going to click on this node, choose a decision. Up here under branches, I'm going to say add a branch. Right now I'm just going to click on OK. We can change the name and the value right here, but for some odd reason I prefer doing that on the sheet. So on the first one I'll say we can sell our rights. We do that, remember it was a 200 million. I'll just put 200. Branch 2, we're going to drill immediately. Now that's a cost to us, so I'm going to put for the cost a minus 100 million. And the last one was we were going to take readings, some seismographic readings. And that also cost us something that was 30 million, so I'll put minus 30. Notice the true, the false, the false. Based on the expected value of our decision so far, it's saying it's true that you should sell because that's the only one right now with the positive um, outcome, expected value of 200 million. Now if you sell, you're pretty much done, so we're going to have to go down here to drill. And uh, you might want to read this a little more carefully again. You expect a 50-50 chance of finding oil, and if there is, you think you'll get $900 million. So to put that into the decision tree, we'll click on this node, choose a chance. Again, we can do something with the branches, but I'll just click OK. Top branch, I'm going to say we found oil. Maybe put a little smiley. The value to the of finding oil was $900 million. <clears throat> We might not find oil, so I'll put no oil. Maybe a frowny face. That, of course, nets us nothing. And notice that the probabilities are listed as 50-50. By the way, notice now that the false true false has changed to a true on this branch. And the expected value of this branch is listed as $350 million. That's because there's a 50% chance of gaining $900 million. That's a positive 
150 million, and a 50% chance of nothing. <clears throat> it did cost us 100 million, therefore we have 450 million minus our cost of 100 million, or 350 million, which expected value is bigger than the certainty of 200 million. We're now going to take a look at the taking the readings. Let's double check what we're going to do. We might find subsurface subsur structure, and we might not find subsurface structure. Um, we have a two-thirds chance, we think, of finding that. So the very first thing we're going to do is say, click on the node, chance, OK. Top one, we found the substructure. We think the probability is two-thirds. I'm just going to write in 67%. Oh, no structure whatsoever. And that's going to be 33%. We now have to put in what this cost us, which at this moment really hasn't cost us anything. We either found it or we didn't find it. What comes next is what's going to cost us. So let's double check. If we find subsurface, we can either sell for 400 million or we can drill. Cost is 100 million. Let's go back and put that in. That sounds like a decision. Top one, we can sell. 400 million is what we can sell for. Click in the label, or we could drill. And if we do, that's going to cost us one, uh, 100 million. So minus 100 will go there. And remember, if we drill, we expect a 60% chance of finding oil. And the expected payoff is $12 billion. So let's come back to our spreadsheet. We don't know if we drill whether we'll find oil or not. But we think there's a 60% chance. So let's click on that node. Put a chance node in. Click on OK. We scroll over a little bit. We found oil. We think there's a 60% chance of doing that. And that's 12 billion. So we have to put in 12 with enough zeros to make it million. 12,000 million. That means a 40% chance of finding no oil. And of course, that gains us nothing. Notice how the trues have been changed. It's false that we should sell, false that we should drill. Seems like it's true that we should take readings. If we find substructure, it's false that we should sell. We should go into drilling. There's a good chance we'll find oil. Notice that all the expected values, we have a 60% chance of 12 billion. It cost us some money here. It cost us some money here. But the expected value is $4.7 million, or sorry, billion dollars, 4,700 million is $4.7 billion. We still have one more branch to do if no structure is found. If no structure is found, we can sell for $100 million. If we drill, we might find oil. The expected payoff is $800 million. Let's click on that node. We have to make a decision at this point. That decision is should we sell. And remember, if we sell, it's only going to be 100 million. Or we can drill. That costs us 100 million, so a minus 100. And we had some chance of finding oil, so let's click on this blue triangle chance. Okay. There might be oil. There might not be oil, so click on that label. We think there's only a 30% chance of finding oil, which means a 70% chance of not finding oil. If we do find oil, it was 800 million. No value if we don't. 
Now, as you look at the screen, we've taken care of all the different decisions and information on chances that we were given. And pause. Notice how it's very difficult to kind of see the entire structure. You have to really broaden your screen out to perhaps print this out. But take a look at what we found. What we know now is that we should not sell. We shouldn't drill. We should take readings. If we happen to find a structure, then the decision is easy. We don't sell. We, in fact, have to drill. Good chance of finding oil. If there's no structure, the decision isn't to sell either. The decision is to drill. So you can break this down basically into a one-sentence decision. I'm going to take readings. If I find structure or if I don't find structure, I'm going to drill for oil. Expected value to me of all these possible decisions is $4.773 billion, which is much better than the $200 million that we started with if we just sold. Of course, that's based on this rather high value associated with the oil if we find it. You could change that to a different value, say just $1 billion, and see if that changes your decision. Notice it did not. It's still true that you should drill if you find substructure. Of course, your overall expected value is much, much lower, but it hasn't changed your decision. Changing values, probabilities, expected payoffs can be done also through the sensitivity analysis. And remember that you can also run at risk. There are lots more capabilities in this program, but that gives you an idea of what you can do and do rather quickly to outline a decision.